Hey guys, my name is Deepak Mehta and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to use whiteboarding inside a Zoom meeting with multiple different participants on different devices. In my view, it is very, very important when you're sharing ideas or information inside a meeting that you visualize it for your audience. Uh, because it makes or it helps them understand it, the content better. So let's dive in. All right, so I'm in this meeting and I'm joined as a host, Deepak Mehta host, as you can see on the top. And I'm also joined as a participant from my MacBook. And I've also joined as a participant to from an iOS device. Let's me first start by sharing my screen. Um, so in order to start or create a whiteboard, the host needs to come down here on the bottom strip and click on share screen. And then once you click on share screen, uh, you will get a few options like share a specific window whiteboard. So we will have to choose a whiteboard and then click on share. So what it does is it'll open up the whiteboarding screen and share it in the meeting with all other participants. So all other particip participants, like for example, participant one and participant two will have that whiteboard opened up on their screen as well. So I'm just opening up the whiteboard. I just clicked on share and now you can see I have the whiteboard on my Mac as well, which is um, here on the top. And then um, on my right side on the bottom, I have my iOS device. So coming back to the whiteboarding options, we um, because I'm using touchscreen, um, it, it's easier to whiteboard on this, my host device. So I can just uh, draw like free form doing, I can just sign this whiteboard and you will see uh, while I'm doing the sign exactly at the same time it's appearing on other two devices as well so I can also draw a shape uh, and I can write a text inside the shape uh, so I'll write home and I'll put a text here as office. And then I'll draw an arrow from home to office. So you see how easy it is to draw things here. And yes. I can also choose stamp option. Um, and I can insert love symbol or tick right symbol or cross based upon uh, the feedback on, on the drawing. Yeah, next feature, next feature that I want to show you is the spotlight. So I can choose spotlight and I'll be able to, as a host, uh, have a laser pointer and point to an object inside, um, inside the session. So now let me move to the participant one screen. So participant one, if he wants to draw on the same whiteboarding at the same time, he'll have to go to view options and then click on annotate. So once he clicks on annotate, he'll get the same uh, whiteboarding strip options and um, I can draw a freeform drawing here. I can sign my name. Although it's not the touch board, that's why it's not easy for me to draw but I'll still show you, like I can draw a shape here uh, and then I'll draw a circle here. And you'll see as I draw on, on the on the participant screen, uh, the host and other participant will see the name of the person who is drawing on the screen. As you can see, it was showing participant one. Now, the other option that we get on the host side is I can clear all drawings. If I clear all drawings, I can undo them back. And then I can also clear only my drawings. I can undo them back again. 
and I can also clear our participants or viewers drawings. It's, it's very, very useful when you want to keep only one set of ideas and you want to eliminate others. Uh, but I will just undo the, all of this back. Then I can also uh, choose to erase something in the whiteboard. I'll just undo this and I can also choose the various colors for the pen and, and font size. I can go ahead and save this whiteboard as a PDF and PNG. It'll get saved on my computer. And then I also have ability to stop um, participant from doing whiteboarding. So I, if I come here and disable annotation for others, it'll actually remove the participant whiteboarding options right away. As you can see on the other window, if I go to view options, I don't see the annotate option anymore. So that's one another handy feature that we have in this. I'll just go back and enable it again for others. So now for participant three, I'll just pick up my mobile phone and then I'll click on the pencil icon on the mobile phone and then I'll click on the pen and then I can start drawing on the same whiteboard. Uh, although on the mobile you'll notice that we are not getting the same amount of options that we get on desktop version. So you don't have shapes, you don't have stamp or spotlight in here, but you do get few basic options like drawing or putting error um, to certain things and you can also erase stuff. So yeah, so the whiteboarding experience, uh, you can see it's, it's pretty awesome and it has some powerful features um, when you're doing real-time collaboration. So it can be very handy um, if you are working with multiple users on multiple devices. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, please feel free to provide your feedback in the comment section because that helps me improve my content and uh, my videos and where I should be focusing on. So looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much.